Welcome to Bengals Spirit Week, Who Day Monday. Way to wear your black and white Sycamore Junior High. Today is February 7th, 2022, and welcome to the episode of Daily Video Announcements. I'm Hadley. And I'm Khadija, and we're so excited to bring you Who Day's news. But first, on the agenda, we unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. First, take note that this is Bengal Spirit Week as we count on to the Super Bowl weekend and tomorrow is Bengals Hat Day. Wear your favorite Bengals, orange or black hat. And looking ahead, be ready to celebrate Wednesday Stripes Day, where anything stripes, orange and black stripes, are a bonus. Thursday is Blackout or Orange Out Day, where all black or all orange. And Friday is Everything Bangles Day, where everything bangles, for Super Bowl 56. Who day? We continue to celebrate February as Black History Month. We want to share with you that on this very day, February 7th, back in 1926, Carter G. Woodson, the father of black history, whom we recognized last week, announced the creation of Negro History Week that later evolved into Black History Month. His mission was to encourage and expand the teaching of black history in schools. He selected February because the month marks the birthday of two famous abolitionists of the time, Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. A little more details on Woodson. He was born as a sharecropper in 1875 and went on to become a teacher and the second African American to earn a doctorate from Harvard. He also founded the Association for the Study of African American Life and History in 1915. Happy Chinese New Year or Xing Yi Hao Ya to our friends who are still celebrating. Yes, this is the year of the tiger, Hu Day. This gives us many this gives many of us great hope that the Bengals will be able to take the luck of the new year with them to the Super Bowl. Hu Day. Happy National Rose Day. Like the flower, right? Right, National Rose Day is about sharing and showing appreciation for the people you care about. It's common to buy a single rose as a gift for that person in the spirit of tradition, and also because roses are considered to be an emotional flower. Make sure you keep this in mind today. <laughs> now for the fact of the day. McDonald's once made bubblegum flavored broccoli. Okay, that does not sound right at all. I wonder what was up with that. <laughs> Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Jonathan G. Also, happy birthday to students Jafani J, Allison K, Brian D, Jonah M, William P, and Alyssa U, as well as staff members Mrs. Sanders and Mr. Winkle, who celebrated over the weekend. We wish you a great and wonderful day to celebrate. Now on to our wonderful Mr. Harris with our important activity information. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. All right, on Wednesday, March 16th, that's next Wednesday from uh, 3.15 to 5.30, we will be having the Aviator Bash. The Aviator Bash is an after-school event where students can hang out with their friends, play games, listen to music, dance, eat some pizza, do all that other stuff. We'll be holding this in the junior high gyms and in the resting room areas, and more information will be following. Uh, some spring sports information, if you like running left or if you like flinging objects in the air to see how far they'll go, uh, does jumping over things bring you joy? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then track is the sport for you. If you're interested in track, please have your parent sign you up on final forms and complete all of your paperwork. Practice will start on March 7th and will be held every day after school from 3.30 to 5. Coach Wallace will be sending out more information on final forms, so it's important that you sign up there. And if you have any questions about track, please see Coach Wallace. All right. Also, if you're interested in tennis, all right, uh, tennis will begin on March 7th. So if you're interested in playing on the boys' tennis team this spring, please come down to room 116 during Flex Bell this Friday, February 11th, for a brief meeting. So boys' tennis will be meeting during Flex Bell on Friday, February 11th, in room 116. Uh, you'll get a handout with information and an opportunity to ask questions. Also, spring sports, boys lacrosse will start the week of February 21st. Please make sure that you are signed up in final forms so that you can get updates on times and locations for practice and other information. If you have questions, please see Coach Harris in room 213. All right, so uh, it is now time for our Black 
History Month highlight, and today's highlight person is going to be Madam C.J. Walker, all right? Uh, Madam C.J. Walker, at first, it was all about a hair and ointment guaranteed to help heal scalp infections. Sarah Breedlove, the poor washerwoman who would want to become millionaire entrepreneur Madam C.J. Walker, was trying to cure dandruff and banish her bald spots when she fixed her first batch of petrolatum and medicinal sulfur. She was America's first black millionaire. With each sale of a two-ounce tin of Walker's wonderful hair grower, she discovered her most powerful gift was motivating other women. The more money Walker made, the more generous she became. She encouraged political activism in a telegram to President Woodrow Wilson, urging him to support legislation that would make lynching a federal crime. By the time she died in 1919 in Westchester County, New York, she had defied stereotypes, provided employment for thousands of women, and donated more than $100,000 to civic, educational, and political causes. As a philanthropist and a pioneer of today's multi-billion dollar hair care industry, she used her wealth and influence to empower others. So a shout out to Madam C.J. Walker. Hey, that's all for me today. Oh, don't forget, for Spirit Day tomorrow, wear your hats. Wear some good hats, some bingo hats. All kind of hats, wear those to school tomorrow. That's it for me. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, what's for lunch today? Today we will be having popcorn chicken along with choice of hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Speaking of roses, Valentine's Day is coming up. I know, I can't wait to see if I, get a, if I have a Valentine's Day. Me too. too. Don't forget about those candy grams. Okay, now for the joke of the day. Why don't koalas count as bears? Why? Because they don't have the right koalifications. <laughs> <laughs> Go Games!